Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you to everyone who's joining us in live. My name is Ryan Brown, and I'm a board member at St. Baldrick's Foundation, which, for those of you who don't know, is the largest charity funder of childhood cancer research grants worldwide. And a fact that I'm very proud of is that since 2005, St. Baldrick's has granted more than $326 million dollars to support the development of childhood cancer treatments, which has helped more than 380 institutions who are treating kids with cancer around the world. It's just an incredible organization that I'm very fortunate to be a part of. I'm uh, excited to be joined today by two amazing individuals. The first that I'd like to introduce you to is Jaron. Jaron, can you please wave? Hi. He, he is a St. Baldrick's 2023 ambassador. And Jaron uh, was unfortunately diagnosed with B-cell acute leukemia when he was only 23 months old. And now he's 12 years old, where I'm excited to share that he's been in remission for the past 10 years. Um, so Jaron will have the pleasure and honor of interviewing our other guest star as they shave their head today. How are you doing, Jaron? Good. Good. Well, good to see you and thank you for your time. Yeah. The second guest star is my good friend, Danilo Gallinari who is a power forward for the Boston Celtics and an all around great human being. And Danilo will be shaving his head today to raise funds to support childhood cancer research. So Danilo, hello and thank you. Thank you, Ryan. It's great to see you guys. Very nice to meet you. And uh, I'm ready to get this thing started. Beautiful. So before handing it over to Darren, I think it's important to note that worldwide, a child is diagnosed with cancer every two minutes, which means that over the next 20 minutes or so that we're having this live stream, 10 children will have been diagnosed with cancer. And so if you'd like to help these children and the incredible research that St. Baldrick's is funding, I would encourage you to donate by visiting the link on the screen, which you should be able to see if you're live streaming. And if you're not, you can go to stbaldricks.org backslash participants backslash D Gallinari. Again, it's stbaldricks.org backslash participants backslash D Gallinari. Uh, so over to you, Jaren. Thanks, Ryan. And thanks, Danilo, for being with me today. Let's get started with some questions. So why are you shaving your head today? Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very important day uh, for for me and for Sam Baldrick's uh, for uh, the research uh, where this is something that um, is very important to me and it has to be very important for all the people that know about uh, cancer uh, research and it's something that we all need to get better at and uh, there is still a lot to be discovered, uh, still one of the toughest fights uh, to fight for, especially for kids um, and so we got to make sure that we all in the same page helping uh, uh, who needs, who is in need, and also to prevent um, what what could be, uh, what could the future present to us in terms of cancer. Uh, and so this is uh, this is key, and I'm honored uh, to represent this today um, here with uh, Coco and uh, here with you guys. Um, it's it's an honor for us, uh, and I'm very glad that uh, me uh, with Ryan Brown and with the Sam Barbies Foundation we started this. Uh, this amazing process and this amazing journey. Yes. Research is hope. So, how did you first hear about St. Baldrick's? Uh, I heard um, I heard about St. Baldrick's thanks to uh, Ryan. Uh, he's a very good friend of mine. Uh, we met uh, years ago and we started working together. Uh, and then he's, uh, he's the leader of uh, a book club that I'm part of, uh, and he's just an amazing guy. And so we he proposed, he started mentioning to me, uh, Sam Baldrick's, and then uh, we made some calls uh, with the team, with the Sam Baldrick's team, with him, uh, and it was a, a no-brainer for me to uh, get on board and uh, and start uh, and start working with them. Yeah, we're very excited that you're partnering with us and shaving your head. So how long has it been since you got a haircut? Well, as, as you can see, uh, it's been a while. Um, 
uh, and uh, what, what a better uh, moment, a better occasion, occasion than today. Um, I needed, I needed one, uh, and uh, and so I'm, like I said, I'm very glad that we were able to set this up today because uh, it's for an amazing and very, very, very important cause. It is very important cause. So when was the last time you ever shaved your head or is this your first time? This is actually my first time. Uh, this, this short uh, is definitely my first time. Uh, and uh, I probably done it when I was a little kid. Uh, but since, you know, I have reached the mature age, so I guess, you know, 17, 18, I haven't done it. And uh, I don't remember doing it. So. Uh, this is another another reason why uh, this is this is a very important day uh, for for my head too. Wow! And now on some to some basketball questions. When did you first start playing basketball? Started playing basketball when I was six years old. My dad was a basketball player, and so I was just going to see him practicing and seeing games uh, during the week. And the love of that of for basketball just started there uh, and still continues nowadays. Wow. So what do you love the most about playing basketball? Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, I get to share uh, a passion uh, and the love for the game with my teammates. Uh, yeah. I think is the best part is that it's a, it's a team sport and to get to the goal, uh, you need everybody, uh, everybody contributing, and everybody being the same on the same page. Yes, basketball is really fun, and I also played basketball. What position do you play? Power forward, same as you. Nice, nice. So you're from Italy. Is basketball a popular sport there? Yeah, correct. So yeah, I'm going to Italy for spring break, and I'm, it's going to be my first time, and I'm really excited. Oh, you're going for the first time. That's nice. Uh, I'm sure you're going you're gonna to love it, and you're going to love the food. Make sure that you eat a, a lot of pasta and pizza. Mm -hmm. Those are the two main it's very, really. it's very, It's very, very good, but the food is good in general. So you're going to love Italy, I'm sure. All right. Thanks for your tips. Danilo, maybe do you have any uh, recommendations for Jaron on places that he needs to make sure he visits during spring break? Uh, well, I'm I'm biased on Milan because that's where that's where I'm from. Um, but you know there are so many great cities like Rome, Venice, and Florence, which are three amazing cities, especially for if you like history and understanding the history of the country. Are three amazing cities that needs to be seen. Yeah. Jaren, great. Jaren, how long are you going to be gone for? So I'm only going to be gone for a week. Okay. Fantastic. You, you will uh, get a taste for a week and then you're definitely going to come back for more weeks. It's definitely a beautiful country. So, so Danilo, I, I got to say the haircut's looking quite good on you. You like it, RB? I do yeah. like it. I feel like it makes me younger. Yeah, I mean, you always look young, but maybe it makes you look even younger than you are. It makes me look as young as you. <laughs> Funny thing is, I'm I'm older than you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we appreciate all the support and everything that you're that you're doing for uh, for St. Baldrick's. But the, the older the older you get in basketball, the the more you need to use every trick to be lighter. Yeah. That's right. So you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit faster on the court now that you've lost some of that weight on the top of your head. Maybe jump a little bit higher. Exactly, flying on the court. Well, maybe maybe for any of your fans as they're wrapping up your shave here, any any insight that you can give us around when you might be joining, uh, joining us again live and, and playing basketball again, and maybe you know, how the recovery is going. Yeah, the recovery is going very well. Um, it's tough to say this kind of injuries. It's tough to say when uh, I'll be back on the court, but it's going very well. Uh, hopefully for the full season, that's the goal. Uh, but we'll we'll see week by week how it goes. But it's going very well right now. Good, that's fantastic. And 
Are you planning on? Oh, we might have lost it there for a second. Are you planning on going back to Italy this summer as well? Yeah, probably. You know, I always got to get back in the summer to to check on to check on my people, check on my friends and my family. So it's gonna it's gonna happen again, like every summer. And that's the moment that uh, during the season I miss the most. Just that you know that month, those couple of months in uh, in my country. That's nice. Are you coming? Are you guys coming? I mean, are you coming this summer with the family? I'd, I'd welcome a visit. I still need to go to Sardinia, so maybe uh, maybe I'll meet you there. That's a good spot with me. Or maybe the Dolomites in, uh, in, in northern Italy. That'd be a good spot, too. That's closer to where I live. Yeah, exactly. Jaren, any, any thoughts that you have for Danilo for supporting uh, St. Baldrick's and, and cancer and, and the research and, you know, yeah, someone that's gone through it, lived through it um, and is a survivor? Uh, any any other thoughts that you want to share with Danilo? Well, I'm very glad that you're shaving your head. And this is like a really important cause that should be treated. We, we would you're, agree. You are, you are an hero for all of us. So, thank you. Yeah, you're you're an inspiration, Jaron. And thanks for everything that you've you've done. And we appreciate your time today and for being here. And Daniel, it looks like you're you're wrapping up here with uh, now a beautifully shaved head. Uh, you know, in sympathy with all the kids that are going through uh, cancer. Um, so, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your willingness and support. Uh, of St. Baldrick's. Um, and as, as a friendly reminder to everyone that's dialed in on the live stream, if you'd like to uh, contribute and donate, um, you can click on the link at the bottom of your screen. Or again, if you are following up uh, afterwards, perhaps listening to this uh, outside of the live stream, you can go to stbaldrick's.org backslash participants backslash D Golinari. Again, stbaldrick's.org slash participants backslash D Golinari. Um, and so with that, uh, Danilo, great to see you. Thanks for everything that you that you're doing here. Uh, good luck on getting back on the court and continuing to bless us with your talents. And Jaron, thanks so much uh, for your time. And for everyone that dialed in and listened uh, during this live stream, we really, really appreciate your support. So thank you. And thank you again, Danilo, for being a St. Baldrick's champion and supporting this really important cause. I got you guys. Thank you so much and great to see you. Wonderful.